Hey guys, check out this sink and vanity we made out of a real river rock and stone coat countertop epoxy. Coming up, we're gonna show you how to upgrade an ordinary bathroom into a finished showroom. We're gonna apply a rock face edge to this vanity to match this natural vessel rock sink. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. Okay, so you've started your bathroom remodel for this big wedding coming up. I have. So I pulled the wall out, pulled out all the plumbing, cut out the floor, replumbed everything. So we have a nice sized shower and some room to move around. That sink that you created, you found a rock. After I captured it and picked it up, I brought it home and I got an angle grinder with a diamond blade and I cut holes in it and ground it and polished it and made a sink out of it. This is fun, we're under a timeline because the wedding is right around the corner. Let's get started. So let's talk about the vanity. Yes. How wide is the vanity gonna be? 42 inches. Because you need space for your toilet. Yes. So you want the outside edge of the countertop to be 42 inches. Yes. You know, usually what I'll do is I, I account for an inch and a half overhang all the way around. Okay. So if my finished van is usually 22 and a half countertop, I'll go 21 on the box. Okay. So you got plenty of room to go 22 and a half. We could even do a full depth for like the same as what your kitchen is at 24 if you wish. No, let's do a shorter. Let's, okay. do, let's do 22 and a half. Yeah, 22 and a half. On I the think it's fine. 21 box. Do you want a kitchen height on this? Let's go 34. We'll do a kitchen height. Okay. Okay, and that's what they usually do in master bedrooms. Uh huh. Because those are adults. Okay. If it's kids, it's going to be 30. Yeah. If it's okay. master, 34 and a half. Okay. All right. We've got that figured out. We, you already know that's 42 inches. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do, so I don't forget that. Because let's say I didn't have you helping me build this, I would just put vanity. Ah. 34 and a half tall, 21 deep. And um, and 42, it's gonna be 42 finished. So we're gonna go draw a picture of it. Okay. And then this is the front, and this is the edge I need done, right there. So now I know it's a left side exposed. And one other thing we need, windowsill. Oh. So I, I, I pulled the sheetrock off because I thought a windowsill would All right, would tie I like that. Together. That's a great idea. Do you want the sink kicked over here to the yes, left yes. and then drawer bank here. <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking about one drawer and then open shelves. So I'm gonna uh, get your center point to the plumbing. Okay. So that we don't put stuff there that's important. So we got 32 and 3 eighths to the center point. Okay. So I'm gonna do a plumbing diagram. 32 and 3 eighths? Yes. And then how wide is that mess? It is six inches wide. So now I know, don't put my toe kick supports there, so uh, this thing will slide right in. And then the windowsill. So you know what we're gonna do? We're actually just gonna template this windowsill. Okay. So then we, we could cut this in the shop and not worry about cutting it here on site. It'll be much cleaner cuts. Okay, go ahead, put that in the back if it fits. So I am gonna be replacing this window. Oh. Unfortunately, they don't have the window in yet. So we'll just make it this tight, because your new window, and you're getting vinyl. Yeah. Yeah, it'll come in further. So, so we'll just trim this. Okay. After that goes in. Okay. And that's no problem. All right. I'll show you another trick here. We'll go there. Put that on your side. Okay. We're going to glue those on. I'm just going to go here. Oh, that's what you're doing. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. And so nice. then the way that you mark this is really important for your notes. Okay. One and a half. And then this is your cut here. Oh, okay. So that you dot that. I, I was going to ask you on the vanity, the face of the vanity. Yeah. Should we do a, that rock face, that rock edge? If you're going to do that, I would do that same edge here too. Well, then let's not do it. No, I like that edge. I love that edge. So I think it's forgiving too. It's a real rock up there. So I would love. That's my favorite edge because it's a little bit more work up front, but there's no sand and polishing on the back end. It's imperfect. It's perfect. Yeah. Right. So that's why I like it. Hey, I could tell you got grandkids that you care about because you didn't like that. Yes. What a guy. What a good see. Safety first. Yeah. We got templates. Oh, yes. 
Yeah, let's just slide it on this table here. All right, next step, let's make your vanity, okay. and then we'll make the top to the vanity. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. All right, let's do it. You ready? You ever built a cabinet before? Uh, well, uh, yes, I have. It's been quite some time, and it wasn't near the standards. So I've seen a number of rustic type, you know, something Oh yeah. similar yeah. to that. Yeah, we could do this exact door style. Okay. We could beat it up but it's gonna be reversed, the sink will be over right. here. We built a cabinet. Excellent. That's a stout cabinet, right? Yeah, Th that rock's not going anywhere. No, and it's fast, huh? Yeah, what would be, two hours maybe? Yeah, not bad. All right, let's measure this and cut out a piece of MDF. Okay. 40 and a half plus an inch and a half is 42. Yep. So, so just right. 22 and a half by 42. Okay. All right, let's do it. Teamwork makes a dream work right there. So which side will we cut here? We probably want to cut the side that's going to go to the wall. Nope. Really? Opposite, because you want to keep that square. Because if your wall happens to be square, you, you know that oh. end's square. So okay. we'll make this the front. Okay. Okay. And then we'll just go, how long? 42. Okay. Now we'll cut this square, but we know we're doing a rock face edge on this too. Yes. So that's truly square, and we're going to make this out of square on purpose anyway. Right. So okay. that's my thought process behind right. it. That's where we got to make the edges. Okay. Now. okay. There you go, there's your half inch of play, inch and a half overhang, there's your vanity. Nice. From scratch, doesn't yeah. get more from scratch than that. I didn't get you, dang it. Okay, you're sanding, I'm making backsplash, right? Okay, Yeah, I would. sand and route. All four sides, top and bottom. Did you want to do this rock face or square? Rock face. Cool. Bring those over here. I forgot about this. This is what I usually use for small pieces. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, this I've is never just used a it. cheap little guy, but that's what we use it for and it works so good. We don't need to sand this because we're going to make a rock face Yeah, edge. we're going to do gonna... that right now. Let's right. make it. Right there. Okay, there you go. All right. What do you think? Is that what we're looking for? So I like to put, see what I did here? Where I scallop in at the top? Yeah. I like that, it makes it look a lot better. Okay. Okay, ready 
for the Bondo? I don't know. You tell me. You mind if I hit it a little bit? Of course not. So it gives it a little bit more in and out. Yeah. Do you like it? I do. The little pieces hung on. Yeah, they did well. Okay, I'm gonna mix up some Bondo. So this is just auto Bondo, right? It makes, I think this is all purpose. So you only want to get out what you can safely work with in that drying period. And you're fine just putting it right on the material. Doesn't hurt it. The thing I like about the blue hardener is you could tell when it's properly mixed. Mm -hmm. How much working time do you have with that? This I'll probably have three minutes. Oh wow, so you gotta move fast. Yeah, and I'm gonna start right where you're at. I'm getting out of the way. And all I'm doing at first uh -huh. is just getting material on there and push to that MDF. Looks like funky edge until you sand it back flush. Mm -hmm. But it gives you those high points. That's really what I'm looking for. Looks funky. Looks like a fifth grader did that right now. Yeah. I put this on the back. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm your assistant. <clears throat> Let's do this. <laughs> we have tons of these painter's tripods and they sure come in handy. So yeah, we'll kind of double it up like that. It's kind of lubricated here with all this spilled epoxy. Yes, it's oh no, so just a fog. Yeah, just a light, light fog from like one direction to kind of give it a shadow almost. All right, let's mix it up. All right, you're mixing, you're pouring. So we have torch and then we're gonna put some veins in it? Yep, the, the white veins, right? Yeah. That looks sweet. Once I get that wood, I could do all this, right? Yeah. That looks exactly. like marble, man. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like right Very on. Very good. Hey, I'm glad I had a delivery for you guys. Yeah, that's cool. That worked out, didn't it? All right, you want me to show you how I can repair something like this? I right do. Right here, that Bondo spot. You can do that right now, yep. right here. All right, ready? So this is just a little bit of aluminum spray paint, just gray, anything you could find. Wipe off the excess that I oversprayed. Yeah, you know, I think I could even do that, Mike. Let me get a little sandpaper and I'll feather that. You're up. <clears throat> I think I'll I, pour it out, you trowel it. Okay.
did it. One pour. Talk about working time. this into the bottom and then screw it to my trailer right here. Those won't go anywhere. We need some WD-40. Well, this is exciting. Heck yeah, we got it though. We're gonna pull this thing off. I did okay? You did great. Was this a fin window? Oh. Uh, did it have a fin on it? Uh-huh. You popped the trim? and then it was there. Oh, nice, that makes it easy. I might need you to hold this, so I'm cutting this point to point. We're seven eighths here and one and a sixteenth there. And I lean the saw a little bit so our high point is what's touching the window. Where's your white painter's talking? Got it right here. So cool. You like it? Yeah. Wedding's coming. Your dad's been pushing me like a, a slave driver. <laughs> That's all you need is just like that, huh? Yeah, oh yeah. And then we'll uh, we'll do this perimeter. You're strong like bull. That's a workout right there. Well, this is it before the final plumbing goes in. It took me 60 days, almost to the day, from the start of demolition to finished plumbing. A long last, water. Look, this is roomy. It is. We could shower in here. Ah, uh, no, they're not. Oh, this is great, man. So, what does your daughter think of the place that she's going to move into? Oh, she's loving it. She loves the colors, the whole thing. People that know me in my office, they they're just shocked. I show them pictures of my sink, and and they go, "You made that?" Being able to do these types of projects like we did is very creative and th therapeutic for me. Yeah, I just love what you did here. Thank you for letting me be a part of it. Guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. Visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com and until next time, from Stone Coat Countertops, you, you got, got this. this. We'll see you on the next video. We make a lot of samples because it helps us nail our project recipes. Sample boards help. Want to learn more? You go there. You can also replicate Baltic brown granite in your bathroom. Ken is a wizard of the DIY. Now you got this. Dude, Chris's socks are awesome. <laughs>